Hello. I interviewed a lead technology specialist in the county who works with all the K-12 schools. Um, she is here at my school often addressing issues, so I quick grabbed her for an interview. And I asked her what was the biggest technology challenge she saw in our schools today. And she said, hands down, it was restrictions on accessibility. Teachers don't have access to their hard drives on their computers. Um, therefore, they have very limited storage space for anything. And um, teachers are not allowed to download anything on their computers as well. And uh, the downloading process um, is quite the process. Um, in fact, to have anything downloaded, first it has to get approved in the county, and then you have to find your technology assistant who has to come in, log you off, log on, download the program with a special passcode, log off, then you have to log back on, and the uh, downloading then has to be completed um, before uh, you can start using whatever you need to use. So it's quite a process, um, definitely has slowed some things down. Um, the county has uh, put in a new filter to alleviate some restrictions. There's also limited, or uh, there's restrictions on um, certain internet sites um, that we use for education. Um, the filter has helped with that a little bit, um, but not ha has not addressed all of them. Um, in addition, students have very limited access to things. Um, our third through fifth graders at my elementary school, um, and it's third grade through twelfth grade, they are issued um, Google accounts, so they have Google Drives. Um, but if they're using iPads, they can't access those Google Drives. They can only access those Google Drives if they are using laptops. Um, and the county has done away with uh, classroom printers. So when using the iPads or laptops, students do not have access to print anything that they have done um, on, on the computer. So that has also... Um, been a restriction um, that has caused some conflict this year. I think um, as a future school leader, I have learned um, that it's important to be a voice for the teachers. I, I think that as future school leaders, we need to um, understand the restrictions, but we also need to um, rally and make sure that our teachers and students um, at least have access to things that are really going to make an impact on education and um, we need to kind of be the voice for that and speak up to um, the technology department and um, you know help and support our teachers um, so that they feel comfortable and they are not stressed out about using um, technology in their classrooms. So thanks for listening and I look forward to seeing everybody else's videos.